everyone, I'm Laura from GoSimply.ca and today I just wanted to have a little chat about the differences between fabric loop bands and latex loop bands. So first of all, uh, I guess a big difference is one is made of fabric and one is made of latex. So obviously if you have any latex allergies, you will probably want to go more towards the fabric bands. So I get asked a lot which one is better and in all honesty, I'm going to say it's probably going to come down to personal preference, but here's a few things that you should definitely consider. One, fabric bands are going to cost more. Will they last longer? Maybe. They say they do. I haven't had mine long enough to know. Um, there are a lot of studies out there that say yes, they will last just as long. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to let you know after I've had this one for a long time. I've only had it for a few months. Um, on the other hand, the latex bands, you usually get a set of three or a set of five for very inexpensive. Like you can get them for under $10. That's Canadian money, of course, because I'm Canadian. So there is that to consider. Also, you may notice the size difference. So these are heavier if you're someone who travels a lot. It's not a lot of extra weight, but if you're really watching how much is in that suitcase and you're paying for every little bit, this is gonna add up. These are super lightweight. You can crunch them up into like the tiniest, like you can fit them in your pocket. They're so easy to travel and take with you wherever you go. And again, you usually get a set of three to five. So it's just, I find it personally easier to progress um, to make sure that, you know, I tend to use something lighter for my upper body, something uh, like stronger, heavier for my lower body, and therefore can go back and forth uh, with, a, with a wider variety. So other things to consider with the size are what you're using them for. So if you notice, if I put the latex ones over my arms, I'm not even at shoulder width with my arms. So as soon as I just hold out to shoulder width, my arms are already working, just holding shoulder width position. So I'm getting strength training immediately. When I use the fabric band, I am already at shoulder width and I'm, uh, there's no tension yet. I haven't, I haven't made, so I have to go wider than shoulder width. So for upper body movements, Fabric bands don't work for me. They're too challenging. I have to get, like, if I'm curling like this, I have no tension at all. I'm getting no work at all. But if I switch to my latex band, I have to hold it out and then do it. So it's just, I'm actually getting work, whereas with the fabric ones, I don't. So I don't ever use a fabric band for my upper body because it just doesn't work for me. I even, because I'm a small girl, have to watch when I put it on my lower body. Um, again, because I'm quite a small girl, I have to, like here, my hips are just naturally apart and I don't have any tension on the band yet. It's still loose. So I have to really push out to the side, which is great. But then when I come back in, it's all loosey. It's like total loosey goosey. I'm not getting any tension at all. So I'm not getting that muscle strengthening through the whole range of motion. I'm only getting it for part of it. But when I put on my very inexpensive latex one, which is much tighter, I already have tension right here. Just having it on, there is some tension, and then I get that tension all the way through the move, okay, from beginning to end. Okay, so that's something else to consider. Um, are these latex ones going to break? Eventually, yes. Uh, and, that, you know, I don't, I don't really like that because then they end up in a landfill. However, uh, they, it takes a long time to get there. Uh, this is the first set of bands I have ever owned. I had one band that was given to me years ago. I had one, like, I don't even know if it was like medium or light. It was just someone gave me a band and I tend to, to take in whatever's given. And uh, it eventually snapped, okay? I didn't get hurt. It didn't like, I didn't have anywhere near my face, didn't get hurt. 
Uh, so I had to throw that out, but I've had this set of five. So it goes from extra light, light, medium, heavy, extra heavy, uh, and it's five different colors. I have had this set for who two years now since yeah, a long time. Use them regularly. I use them at least once a week and they have been just fine for me. They haven't lost any strength or stability in them. They're just as good as when I first got them. They came in a little pouch. Like I said, I can fold them up tight. I can just shove it in my pocket if I'm running out the door uh, to do something and I know I might want a band with me. I can bring them anywhere I travel. It's never a problem to have them in my carry-on. So what would I suggest? Well, really, it's going to be up to you. My personal preference, I would get the less expensive latex ones, have a wider variety, and be able to use them upper body and lower body. That being said, if you love your fabric band, don't give it up. Use the equipment that you will use. There's no point in you switching to these, of which they do. I know people complain that they can roll up and down your leg, pull on leg hairs, slide on certain materials. They do. It can be annoying. So if you're someone who's like, no way, I am a tried and true fabric band person, then you do you. Because in the end, whatever keeps you moving is the better choice for you. So for me, I'm a latex band girl, and you may or may not be the same, and it really doesn't matter. So like I said at the beginning, I think it's really just a personal choice, but do make sure that whatever you buy fits your body so that you're getting the most out of your exercises. If you're not getting any tension with a fabric band until partway through the exercise, you'll see better results with a latex band. Okay, so if you have any questions about latex and fabric, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know which you prefer, latex or fabric, and we'll see, you know, overall which wins. Is it fabric bands or is it latex bands? Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.